Okay, so the first step you're gonna do is everybody's gonna get one of these round pizza cardboard things, okay? So there's a white side and a brown side. So first step is you're gonna flip it to the brown side and you're gonna put your name on it, okay? So first name, last name, teacher's name. Okay. Okay, once your name is on the back, what I want you to be aware of, when we go to draw this picture, we're gonna draw it on the white, but this is what we call corrugated cardboard. Let me turn it to where you can see it really well. Okay, so you'll see that the cardboard has two thin sheets on either side with this like ribbed cardboard in the middle. Okay, so what that means is when you go to draw on here, you can see the little ridges right here. Okay, when you're drawing, you have to make sure you're not drawing super, super hard or you're gonna end up poking holes in this um, pizza round into the cardboard. So what you need to do is be really, really aware before you start drawing not to draw super hard. Okay, so the other thing that we're gonna do is we are going to end up drawing, let me show you the final product. This is what you're gonna end up drawing today, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to make this, how to draw this, and you will likely not finish or even get to the um, Sharpie part, but you will definitely get it drawn today, okay? So step one, we're gonna divide this basically into thirds. So the first line we're gonna draw, okay, is at the bottom. So we're gonna draw a line across the bottom third, okay? You're not looking for perfection here because there are very few landscapes that are perfectly flat. So just, you know, a fairly rigid line, okay? And as we're moving through this, I'll have these handouts that'll be at your table that will show you the steps. So if you get lost in the video or you struggle, you're struggling to keep up, this will be a nice guide for you, okay? But there are a few things I wanna point out as we move along. Okay, so step one. We're gonna mark about a third of the way down on the cardboard, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a zigzag, but it needs to have three lines. So we're gonna start here and go over. Not all the way to the edge, but fairly close. So there's one line, two lines, three lines, okay? So what this does is this gives us a line for depth and dimension, okay? But we don't want it to be a solid line. We're gonna make it a little bit broken. So once you've drawn your one, two, three lines, you're gonna come back in here and you're just gonna erase a few spots. Like I'm gonna erase here, maybe here, like maybe here. We just want it to be a broken line. Um, there's salt all over the table from my last class. So what we'll do is we'll have this broken line and then you're done with that part, okay? So then the next step is we're gonna draw the mountains, okay? Here's where we're gonna go back to our thirds. So a third of it is gonna be the landscape, and then another third of it will be your mountains. And then you'll have this top third, and what we'll eventually do is paint it. And so we'll leave everything else black and white, and that top third around the mountains will have color. Okay, so let me show you about the mountains, okay? So you're gonna wanna start, and remember, we're trying to keep it at about a third at the highest point. Okay, so, my tip on making the mountains, don't make too many, okay? Because then it becomes very challenging with the next step. So once you've made all these mountains, okay, you're ready to move on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make a shadow that comes down on the left side of the mountain, okay? So every single one of these is gonna have a little shadow on it, okay? So for instance, let me give you my actual example. Okay, do you notice how I made like a small peak right here, almost connected to a larger peak? If you do that, then your shadow will just encompass both. It won't be a little one here and a little one here, okay? All the shadows are gonna start in the peak, right there, you see that? So when we go to make our shadows on here, we're gonna start all the way up here at the point, and then we're gonna go to the edge. So if I'm starting here, I'm gonna end here. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna end here. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does, because here we go. So we're just gonna make these some kind of wiggly lines. That one a little bit past, so I'm gonna bring that one back in. I 
think I want to make that one come out a little bit further. Okay, so once you've got your shadows on there, then you're ready for the next step. So the next step is to make diagonal lines in these shadows, okay? My tip on this is don't put them too close together because if you do, when you go to do your Sharpie, it's gonna make the lines almost run together. And we want them to have a very clear separation. So next step is you're gonna draw diagonal lines on this. So what I do is I start by drawing them fairly wide, and then if I feel like I need more, I can go back in and add more. Your lines will be a little bit ripply, and that's okay. Okay? And then we're gonna go to the next one. And then the next one. And then we're gonna keep going. Okay, almost done. This is again another reason why you don't wanna have too many mountains because then you're gonna be doing this forever. Okay, so then what I did on mine is just, do you see how it makes it look really like a, an actual mountain, like three dimensional, okay? On my mountains up here, I put just a few little dash lines. If you want to do that, great. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Okay. So once you've gotten to this point, you've drawn your horizon line, which is where the sky and the ground meet. Okay. You've got your line, you've got your landscape on a third, you've got your mountains on a third, and your sky is going to take up about another third. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be close. So we've drawn our line, we've drawn our zigzag, we've broken the line, we've drawn our mountains, we've drawn our shadows. Okay. Next step. What we're going to do is we're going to draw three lines, okay, three. You have to draw at least three for your trees. If you draw more than that, that's awesome. So what you'll do is you're gonna place one tree on each of these lines. So this is line one, this is line two, this is line three. So notice I have one here on one, another one on number two, and then I have two on number three. That is fine. You, you can do as many as you want, but you have to do three, okay? When you're drawing your line for your tree, it's gonna start from this zigzag broken line and it's gonna, they're all gonna basically end at about the same spot. Does that make sense? So this line is gonna definitely be longer than this one because what it does is it shows depth. So we look like we have a perspective picture kind of going on here. We have a little tree, medium sized tree, bigger trees. Okay, so let's draw our lines for our trees. So I'm gonna do one there. The other thing is try to make sure your lines are as straight as possible. Then I'm going to do one. So there's my one. So I'm going to put my big one right here in the middle. And I'm going to put my other one. I'm going to do it right here. And I'm going to extend my line a little bit. Okay. So my biggest tree is going to be right here. But if I wanted, I could come back here on this little one and do another one. But we'll see how that goes. So you've got your three lines. Notice that they're at the different points. If I decide, you know what, maybe I want my biggest tree in the middle, what I can do is I can go back and just extend that line and then erase and make that line end at that one. So did you see how I changed that up? All I did was just adjust where the line ended. One, two, three line three, and there's one on each line, okay? Then, to draw the trees, we're gonna try to make this as simple as possible. So we're just gonna make slanted lines, basically diagonal lines, but we want them to kinda go in a triangular shape, okay? Because these are evergreen trees, these are trees that live, you know, where it's very cold and stay green year round, and they have lots and lots of needles, and they do, they look like a Christmas tree, because that's what we use for Christmas trees, evergreens. So they're gonna be generally in the shape of a triangle. So we are gonna start and we're gonna take our trees and we're gonna actually kind of slant them upward like this, not downward, okay? So you're gonna just start up here and you're just gonna make some lines. And what you'll have to do is as you're going along, make sure that you're getting them a little bit wider and a little bit wider and a little bit wider and a little bit wider. Okay. If you're not, go back in here and just fill them in with a little bit longer. And then you'll have to go to the other side and try to make a match as best you can. 
And this might require a little bit of erasing and that is perfectly fine, guys. That's very normal when you're learning to draw something new. Okay, so there's tree one. I could even go out here and make it a little thicker if I want. All right, so there's tree one. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the next tree. And I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna make my lines. And even if you need to, you can always put your finger out to the side at an angle and use that as your guide for how far out your lines should go. It will help make sure that you're staying generally in that direction. See? Then you can even flip it around like this and do it upside down and do your finger the same way. You just have to make sure you make your lines going in the same direction. Okay, so then there's tree two. So let's draw our last one. All right, I'm gonna go back in and just add a few more little extra limbs. Okay, so then once you have all three trees drawn, again, one tree on each line. So there's line one, line two, line three. I do want you to do this, so make sure it comes down here and fills in a little bit. I hear my stomach, I'm getting hungry. Okay, so then once you've drawn everything, so you've drawn your line, you've drawn your zigzag that's broken, you've drawn your trees, you've drawn your mountains, and you've drawn your shadows with the shadow line. At this point, you are done drawing, and then you're gonna go over everything in Sharpie. Not the skinny Sharpies, because a lot of people wanna use the skinny Sharpies for these. I suggest not to do that, because the skinny Sharpie has such a fine point, it will poke through super easy. So use your thick Sharpie, and then once you've gone over it in Sharpie, it'll look something like this, okay? Once you've hit this point, you are done for the day. Now, if you don't get to this point, don't stress about it. We're gonna work on this project for a couple more weeks, okay? So if you have any questions, hopefully this clears it up. If you just can't understand and you're really struggling, don't let it frustrate you. Do your best, and then what we'll do is, I don't want you to go over it in Sharpie if you're struggling. Just wait till next week, and I'll come in and I'll help you, okay? So, Mrs. Amelia is gonna be with you guys, and I hope you are super respectful and super kind. And if you are, remember, I have Skittles. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this project and I will talk to you next week. Okay, bye.